When we go back to mediation, let's bring out the facts. Everybody has a story to tell. Let's listen to all those stories and find out what the issues are. Mm-hmm. And seek either a win-win solution or whatever. But we cannot wish the Boku conflict away. Okay. So the Mampresis are in Boku for over almost 200 years. Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody can say that they should pack their things and leave Boku. Mm-hmm. And nobody can also say, okay, you are no longer the chief. And, because, and then imagine a situation where you, governor, and then... Uh, uh, my, my, my good friend, commander. Mm. If management of the radio station there comes there one day and decides to demote all of you mm. to collect a messenger and bring in new people, I think the best you can do is perhaps to resign and leave, mm. but not to continue to live in that condition. Mm. But who is not a simple matter for us to wish away? It okay. requires a serious, deliberate and purposeful planning and action and speaking truth to authority and coming out with a permanent solution rather than managing it. It is not an issue to be managed. Mm. It should be resolved. Mm. So finally, the approach uh, we use for the Dagbon crisis by the eminent committee, that yes. finally worked. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't you think we, we, we can implement same in Boko? It, we can implement same by using the process. The process that was used is perfect. Because everybody had the opportunity to sit there and say what he wants or not. The leadership, I sat in one of the meetings one day. And I remember clearly that Asantehini stating a position in my presence. That look, as far as the, the bank crisis is concerned, no matter what the solution will be, neither of the regions will become a Yana. That was definite. That was definite. And they knew. And like, at the end of this roadmap, that is a non-starter. Nobody should consider it. You may not like it, but that's how we are proceeding because we know that is what can bring lasting solution to the bank. So if we adapt that same process on the matter of Boku and stop listening to half truths, if you hear the story, I'm a man preacher, and unfortunately, mm. sometimes mm. when you are speaking about matters that you are related to, it's difficult. Mm. This to morning, when I was told I was going to talk to you, that was what came into, into mind. No, I no, said, no, don't Oh, be, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid. I'm still as a development practice. Yes, uh, that's what you've actually shown now. Yes. yes. So, the fact of the matter, if you go to Boku, the Kustanians have their story as to why they think they are in control and they should have control. Mm-hmm. The man preachers have their story. As we speak now, whose story is being implemented? Whose story is being heard? Mm. I can hear stories like, okay, mampresses were imposed on the place by the colonial administration. Then the mampresses generate a list of chiefs to let you know that there were chiefs in Boku who were mampresses long before the arrival of the colonial regime. Mm. And that brings us to another important question in Africa. Adala, my father, when, when do we stop in history? Uh, Gonjas came and captured this piece of land. And then later, the Gombes came and captured the Gonjas. And then subsequently, the Gombes came back and captured the Gombes. So, if you are going to talk about the ownership of such a land, mm-hmm. where do you start from the history? Where do you cut off? <laughs> where would be the cut-off point? Mm-hmm. Because at any point in time when you do a cut-off, you are mm-hmm. going to cut off some people. Yes. And just finish. So, Boku requires a holistic approach. Military and soldiers not solve that problem. Wow. Honorable Abuba, we are grateful for your time this morning. We I'm very grateful for your audience and mm. thank you so very much for mm. the opportunity. Interesting uh, views this morning on Boku. Uh, a lot of you guys in Teddy have not even been to Boku before. They sure you've not been there before. I don't know. Uh, because of Guinea Fowl. <laughs> <laughs>